Why well, hello everyone, Sean here, and today, or uh, I guess, well, it is midnight. It's been past midnight. Uh, I actually, <laughs> before uh, started, I decided to record this uh, little detail journal. journal. See, I can't even talk. Uh, I actually took a nap just from being uh, a little tired from, uh, you know, uh, working, but also, um, you know, la the sort of lack of good sleep. And yeah, so decided to just kind of know, get this uh, sort of uh, out of the way, since I might have other things to do uh, tom tomorrow night if, as I record this. So I just wanted to knock it out, out, out of the way. But um, anyway, so let me just put this away. But anyway, um, so yeah, a um, few things to talk about today. Uh, this being the biggest one of them all, literally, you know, it's on the cart. But yeah, this is uh, the McKillen's Swivel Gun Pro, as you can definitely see here. Uh, I got this during the Prime uh, deal or whatever they're having right now. So I got this for about more or less um, uh, around 80 bucks or something, around that price. So thought it'd be a pretty good opportunity to give myself, you know, uh, what's considered a, a good swivel gun or one of those short guns. So um, we're gonna, just going to go ahead and unbox it. Um, I already took a look at it, so it's not like my very first time. It's very basic anyway. Um, this kind of comes with like instructions a little bit. And of course, the gun itself. So I like the weight distribution stuff, the ergonomics, but of course, the trigger feel is very light. Nice feel to it too. Um, stainless steel quick connects right here. Well, this one has a rubber thing on it, so I'll worry about that later. But, um, seems to be, um, in decent condition, I guess. I mean, there's, some um, a little bit of a weird thing going on in that corner, a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, see, you see that little, little glint right there, or some sort of stain or something but anyway other than that i mean um i like the fact that you can like hold a gun like this and then just quick connect like that and i think that's literally what it's designed to do just to make it a little easier to uh, disconnect like that actually feels pretty good doing that let me grab my other gun just for a comparison for myself, of course. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this gun right here. Well, I do like the, I love the design of it with the, this little short extension thing and, and everything. Definitely not the greatest feeling gun. Right. I did get this for cheap, it was like around 30 bucks. So that it, you know, you do what you get, you get pay, you pay for. But this is like nothing. My only gripe is the colors. This is such a very peculiar selection of colors. I wish it came in like a basic, I don't know, black and yellow or something. Um, maybe sometime in the future there will be multiple colors. Um, but I mean. It's just not for me, for the colors, I mean. But but the, the shape and everything, and then these holes, right, to hold your tips. Very cool. I do like the feel of it already. The sort of weight distribution around it. So, I'll get my chance to uh, get a feel for this gun someday. And maybe it might be time for me to retire this one, I don't know. I may use this actually for um, like once I get like different thread converters and stuff, redu reducers and such. I might actually use this 
for um, my detail keg. Yeah. Um, let me put this gun back right here, the old gun. Just wanted to see what it looks like with the uh, little extender on. Yeah, see like this, I, I like using this because it angles it down and such. Let me see how it's easy, how easy it is to do with one hand. Okay, hold on. Okay. So we have this right here. Oh, okay. It's on there, but not completely connected. There you go. Oh, wow. I like that little snap right there. And yeah. Feels okay, right? I do like that. And then just make everything straight, blah, 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 you know. And, and there you have it. This is what it looks like, right? Like this. And then when I want to detach it. Hmm. Okay. There we go. There we have it. So that's the, this is the, the Swivel Gun Pro from McKillen's. I do like the overall shape. My, again, my only gripe is the colors. You know, that's like a very subjective thing. Some people uh, may like it. Some people don't. And I'm one of the, the people that don't. Meanwhile, I got this for my other sort of gun, quote unquote. This is for the what I use, use for the detail keg usually. So previously, I, it was just the gun and then this, the tip. But I got this little uh, makeshift extender thing. So now it gives a, a little more of a of a reach, a little bit. And, you know, I like the sort of appearance of it, in a way. Unfortunately, these uh, misting tips and this are only available with brass. Well, this is just silver, you know. A little quick connect right there. And then I have this tip too to use um, some time. I do want to um, test it out again. And that'll kind of like lead to the uh, the other discussion at hand. Which is the um, the detail keg that I uh, quote unquote modded. That unfortunately did not uh, turn out the way I wanted to um, for the most part. So um, one's up sitting over there, the other's sitting over there. Uh, basically what I was trying to do is have them have some sort of foaming capability. Um, I think it was starting to work, but then um, it just stopped foaming. Like um, when I sprayed it, there was a bit of that white foaminess to it. It wasn't like that sudsy, like that shaving cream foam, of course, because it's with a rinse and wash. So either I have to put more of it or put more air in there. But um, the sort of what went wrong kind of like all happened at once. I have some footage I'll play it over when I'm talking, but yeah. Um, I don't know. At that moment, I was so over it. Um, I was a little, a little frustrated, but at the same time, I thought to myself, no, do I really need do, do I really need to have this right? Um, I kind of know what it's like, and then uh, the fact that you know I probably didn't put enough air when there was a lot of product in or yeah product in there or a solution I should say. So it was like essentially seventy five percent product or solution, excuse me, and then um, the rest of it air. So that might have been an error on my part. I will I will give it one more one last chance, but even so, I'm kind of over it because um, I don't know that that to me is not practical and necessary because for instance, wash as is 
there's plenty um, clen uh, ha has plenty of cleaning power, let's just put it that way. Otherwise, yeah, because I have these two IK Foam Pros right there. 12s. They've been serving me pretty well for the most part. So it's not really that much of a deal. Um, I'll just use those for the foaming capabilities and leave the detail case to just spray. <sighs> so, uh, but nonetheless, it was kind of a failure. So yeah, I tried this gun out, um, thinking that I was going to use this for um, the detail cake stuff, the foaming. Yeah, I just kind of, I was over it. <laughs> I just, so I just basically cleaned my mom's car right here and got the rinse and wash and then she got clean pretty much. So, so yeah, um, it was going to be a full episode of sorts for the wash, but that happened. And so I'm, I'm just using that footage for B-roll now. So during my failed uh, experiment with the detail keg, um, I unfortunately cut myself kind of bad on my finger right here. <laughs> I was trying to like tighten something, um, but then uh, it was like with like a pipe wrench of sorts and it slipped and I cut my finger somehow. I, w I had gloves on too, is the thing. It was, it was just a nitro gloves, it wasn't like work gloves. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, it uh, did a little damage to my finger. So it looks a little nasty, but you should have seen it when it happened. That's all I can say. That was all part of the, the situation with the, de the failed foaming capability of the detail keg. Further reasoning why, I just wanted to get it done, <laughs> the, the wash done. Uh, but yeah. That's like the main stuff that I wanted to talk about for the most part. Um, I am planning another th project and it does involve with another sort of quote unquote gun build. You know, I, I just, I don't know why I've been so obsessed with like, like with um, seeing what works. Sorry if I'm like slurring my speech or whatever, cause I'm just tired, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I was, I'm, I'm still like just on that kick of just seeing what works as a gun for the detail keg. So, um, like this, this misting tip is great. It really misses good. You know, I'm just wanting to see what else works. So I'm actually trying to see if I can build one out of just actual air tool stuff. I finally found some sort of like extension thing for the barrel and it's just called call like a long cast nipple thing <laughs> i've got the name for it already but yeah so that's been all good um well other than the uh the whatchamacallit the detail keg sort of failure so to say you know not every experiment is going to be a success. Um, that's why life is interesting, right? You see what works, we, you see what doesn't, what succeeds, what fails, and uh, we go from there. Um, you know, got some cool stuff. I have yet to try this, which is the Armor Detail Ghost. Uh, I was gonna use it for um, the, the country, the mini countryman right here, but, um, I, uh, put it off so at that time or by that time I was done washing. I was kind of just wanting to do something else. Um, you know, it was a little, it was a little under the clouds, but yeah. Um, but next time this coming weekend, I will use it to, uh, kind of get those tires to look nice. They're not the dirtiest, but I just wanted to get new dressing on it. So why not? Or not, well, you know what I mean. Some sort of new tire coating dressing thing. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, oh yeah. Let's talk. Let's let's talk about. Um, you know, let's go on, go on a more higher note, right? 
Yeah, I want to see if this helps. Not really. Whatever. I'll just keep it on. Anyway, the um, motor right here worked beautifully. This uh, water pressure pump motor worked beautifully for my little um, rinseless power wash setup. Absolutely immaculate now. And then now I even uh, bought another thing to tie up one last loose end, which is, it, which is this um, rocker switch right here. Um, so basically, yeah, it'll, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Back and forth, on and off, right? So that will be actually be really helpful. So I have to go back and forth possibly, or just unplug, plug plug in again or whatever, just in case. Uh, but yes, it did help my pressure washer very well with the pump feeding now. Um, it's not gravity feeding anymore, but yeah. Um, I do want to plan to use that for um, uh, just getting product on. So I want to see what that's like. It might be just like another sprayer, you know, to get a uh, rinse and wash product or solution on my car. Cause my car is coming up for this week's um, or weekend's wash. Cause it is getting, um, it, it has been about two weeks now or it's going to be two weeks. And I always wash my car bi-weekly for the most part. But yeah, um, I do like it. The pressure pump motor thing uh, looks great, you know, for what it is. And now I have like basically a little mini pressure washer, possibly, um, you know, with the rinseless tank setup thing. So yeah, um, not too expensive. It's like 60 bucks or something. Uh, your rocker switch isn't too bad either. So yeah, I have a pretty much like, um, I guess every possible little thing you could do to like get product on the car. So I'm done in that area, <laughs> but it's just a matter of the gun now. So I'm trying to see if I can build one out of like air tool parts and uh, we'll go from there. What's funny though, is that I think this and this other tip right here are both um, quarter inch MPT. So that'll be perfect for um, all the other like air, uh, air tool parts to connect into. Um, I'm gonna, and then I'm just gonna play around with what gun works, what doesn't, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see about the, when we get there. So, um, what else? Oh yes, a bit of a minor part, but I got these for um, my one of my water tanks over there that I store um, uh, distilled water in. It's just a shutoff valve uh, with the barb ends. Just wanted something to help me like pour stuff out easily and shut it off real quick instead of just like pinching the hose and then I don't know squeeze the ho squeeze the water back into the tank. You know, just to make things a little easier for me. And um, nothing more, nothing less. Um, I'm actually, oh yeah, another update, I guess. And then this is probably the last thing I will, uh, oh shoot. I almost forgot, how, how, how can I forget? Speaking of guns, on the topic of more guns, I gotta forget. I got this baby right here. Look at this, look at this wacky little contraption. So this is like some sort of spray gun. I don't know what it is, but um, this also has a, uh, it, it comes with a 3 8 inch uh, barb end, but I took that off. It's somewhere in the house, but um, I just stuck on a, uh, like a little converter for a quarter inch, um, because it has a quarter inch inlet, uh, MBT. And then that this will, Convert it to a uh, three fourths inch G GHT, and then that allows me to attach all the garden hose stuff on there. 
followed by another reducer going back to MPT. So it's like um, a lot. So it basically allows me to interchange between a garden hose gun and a um, detail keg gun. That's the setup I'm trying to go for here. Here, let me try to. Well, I can't do this with one hand, so hold on. Let me see. That's why I have this kind of little tripod thing um, so I can stick it in my arms or my. Okay. Like that. And then I have uh, the swivel ball, ball swivel thing right here for the air tools. And then garden hose, quick connects right here, or quick connect right here. Um, little converter right here, reducer, right. So that allows me to um, go between garden hose and uh, detail keg gun or air tool gun, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, so like I said, this is some form of um, a converter as well, or reducer, depending on how you want to look, look at it. Uh, quarter inch MPT, garden hose, GHT. So you have the, the male quick connect right there. I have this uh, silicone ring thing. I don't know where the rest went. It like kind of disappeared, so kind of frustrated with that. But um, it it's kind of coming in handy for purposes of like putting, you know, wrapping my hand around it and then um, tightening and uh, loosening it, or whatever. The grip is nice, um, so I just have it there. Um, but yeah, this gun of itself though is kind of unique because. Um, the, pa uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the type of spray, I guess you could say, adjusts, um, as you squeeze the trigger. This, the, tr the trigger on this is very the, much of, of the opposite of this, right? Where, where this is so easy. This is like tight on purpose because you're going to like, ch uh, determine your spray type by how much you're squeezing this trigger. So this is like a full spray, like full, um, yeah, like like basically like this, the full spray right here, right? And then when you just squeeze a little bit, it's like a mist or something, it's more of a mist, according to the uh, sort of it, according to the Amazon page in a way. I got this from Amazon for like 30 bucks it looked cool because, um, you know, the pictures show like it has a really cool like misting capability. So that's why I bought it. I might actually use this for um, the sort of pseudo rinseless power wash. Um, I'm gonna call it the rinseless pump wash. Although that's kind of wrong because you're not really pumping, but the motor is, I don't know. But yeah, uh, and then the power wash, of course, is the one with the car sure so guns guns and more guns right guns 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 yeah ain't that the life right so i got this short gun spray gun garden hose nozzle gun and then the the gilmer gun as I learned that there was a term for it, for these style of uh, hose nozzle guns. And of course the modified tip right there. And then, yeah, so I was testing this um, tip during the failed experiment of the detail keg. So that's why I want to give it one, uh, one, another chance. I think this should work fine, so. Um, you can you can go either way between this or this, but something tells me this is my this might be better because there's like five or eight holes. Uh, anyway, so sorry. Um, somebody wanted to grab laundry. So anyway, um, what was it what was I saying? So uh, yeah, guns, guns, guns. Yeah. So <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm gonna be continuing the sort of 
gun experiment, you know, what's, what's the best, what's not. Um, I do want to try this out, definitely. Um, we'll see if it works. Oh yeah, don't worry about this part, it's just a sticker that I wanted to remove. Um, started, it didn't look, I thought it didn't look good, so that's why I just tried to rip it off, but yeah. It'll come off eventually fully. Um, I do definitely want to try this as well. Um, yeah. We know this works. We've seen it. You know, people have tried it. But, um, yeah. It does feel good. It does really feel good. It, uh, maybe it doesn't look good to some people's eyes. I don't like the color, like I said, but, man, it feels good in the hand. I will, I will give it that for sure. And that's probably what's more important. But yeah, if they come out with different colors, I might consider getting another one. I'm, I'm just, I don't know, this is me. And yeah, this sucker right here. Gilmer gun, not Gilmore gun. It's not, it's not the Gilmore girls, right? It's Gilmer, not Gilmore, right? <laughs> um, and then I have this spray wand right here. Right, another thing for the detailed keg. It's like, where? Are you, what the hell are you gonna use? I don't know. That's the that's the joke, right? That's the, that's like the kind of the ongoing kind of gag. Right. Kind of funny how that how, how all, all that works, but yeah. Um, I do have to keep reminding myself to get my give me more gloves. I'm running it out. I think this whole I think this box right here lasted me the the year pretty much because i bought these i bought all my most of my car supplies during like october or something uh th throughout pretty much throughout the fall and the winter so i'm uh damn that's crazy that means we're pretty much in the anniversary of me falling to that uh car detailing rabbit hole that's crazy um let me see if there's anything else i'm possibly hopefully not forgetting um oh yeah don't forget uh don't don't worry about this one this is for the uh camera this is like a screen hood so that way i don't have to like use my hand to like you know cover the screen from the glare of the sun or whatever so i can like actually see my screen so that'll be handy so, uh this is for the dg dgi pocket whatever uh three <laughs> uh that i'm holding right now I've been I've been really liking the camera by the way. It's really good for what it is. Um small, portable, um, great shots. I love the gimbal stabilization, all that great stuff. Alright, lastly, uh I am still waiting on my products from detail uh, no, excuse me, House of Rags. I'm waiting for my detail code stuff. It was supposed it was supposed to come Earlier today, but it didn't, I guess. I guess there's some sort of delay or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it did ship, but it did not reach to the date it, it estimated. So I guess, I mean, it is what it is. It's an estimate, I guess. But usually they come on the date of the estimate. Not the case today. Strange. I don't know what's going on with detail, co stuff. I'm cursed. <laughs> and then meanwhile, there's all those videos now of um pan's clean um lineup being tested so i'm kind of like falling behind on that i guess but there really isn't any rush for me um other than the urge to just try it out for the sake of it um i, I do hope the spray sealant works for me because the um it is cheap but it is cheaper by the gallon and it can go on uh, like a spray on rinse off kind of method. So I definitely would like to kind of like use that instead of quick beads and um, uh, Gion white coat because they are uh, just about a hundred bucks per gallon. Whereas the spray sealant, the clean ceramic spray sealant is like 65 bucks a gallon. So that's a, that's a steal for me. Um, I do want to get in on that um that way i can kind of just like go willy-nilly <laughs> have fun with it um but yeah i mean i guess that the only other thing that i'm like genuinely trying to wait for at this point with excitement 
that's relating to card detailing is that IK foam uh, e foamer, I guess you could you call it IK e foam, which is basically the same. Um, uh, what do you call it? the IK foam uh, Pro Two? What do you call it? The the two liter sprayer, but it has a battery on the bottom, so it'll be able to spray constantly or, or continuously. Basically like this, but less, uh, um, I guess, cheapness. <laughs> but I mean, this works right now. But yeah, uh, obviously IK is more um, consistent with their branding and their quality. And with these things, you just don't know. You know, you can buy them on Amazon and all, but you just can't, uh, there's no, there's no sense of reassurance <laughs> in comparison to IK. So that's pretty much all I have. Uh, let's end it on that. Um, there are good experiments, or there are experiments that go well. There are no, there, are, but there are also experiments that don't go well. And uh, the detail cake foaming thing was one of the one of the ones that failed, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh yeah, I do have this one too. Another gun, right? This is the one I actually really use. I, I really like this one. This might be my backup. It was really cheap though, let me just say. This was really cheap. This was like eight bucks. This, eight dollars. So it's like a good backup, just in case. So I'll keep it I'll keep it around for that. Um, but yeah, I hope this works really well. I hope it really mists very well. If it doesn't, then I will probably use this for the um um the rinseless what should I call it, right? Is it should I call it the rinseless power wash um junior, I guess, because it's just it's just the it's just gonna be the motor, right? The pump motor. I know you can't you can't even see that, but um I don't know. Maybe in the comment section below you can like suggest a, a name for it. Because the the rinseless power wash um, is the one with the carcher in it and the and the motor, but um, <laughs> I don't know. What should I call it? Is it should I call it um, rinseless power wash sands carcher? I don't or sands something or um, I don't know. Should I call it a rinseless pump wash? Because it is using a pump motor or a rinseless boost wash, because it has because it's also called a boost motor. I don't know. We'll play around with the name maybe in the comment section below. But also play around with that like button and the subscribe button as well. Really do appreciate it because it helps out. <sighs> so let's put the cart back into place. And um Either way, the cars will be clean. That's all that matters. So thank you very much. I'll end it on that note. And uh, hope everyone can um, stay safe, especially those in Florida. Um, you know, Hurricane Melton uh, and Hurricane Helene and the one before. Um, yeah, it's been pretty rough, I'm sure, to say the least. So I hope um, it, um, you guys can uh, stay safe and make it through the hurricane in one piece and uh, we can all move on. And that'll definitely be a time. I mean, hopefully the uh, you guys' cars will be intact. You, uh, that'll be a good time to um, detail them once everything settles. <laughs> you know, I try to look at everything um, on the bright side of things, right? Several linings and everything, but yeah, you know. I know it's tough. It sucks in Florida. I have friends in Florida. Hope they make it through as well. I mean, um, with minimal damage, I guess you could say. Anywho, thank you very much. And hope to see you all in the next one. And uh, let's keep it simple and clean, guys. Sean out.